What's going on guys? Welcome to your 33rd Java tutorial where we're going to get into some organization of our little J-frame here because it just looks sloppy. Everything's, you know, so horizontal and we want it to be vertical, uh, at least these three elements. So that's what we're going to work with in today's tutorial and, you know, just a little bit of organization within a certain panel. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to add some spacing to each one of those elements. So we're going to go down to our third panel because again the center panel is the one that we're working with. It has these three items, a label, a text area, and a text field. And those are the elements that we want to have some spacing with. So what we're going to do is we're going to create something called a grid bag constraint. So basically the grid bag constraint is going to be able to help us organize things. So we're just going to call this grid bag constraint. GBC and set this equal to a new grid back constraint. So basically when your mom walks into your room and it's all dirty and there's like laundry everywhere and she's like hey you should probably clean this up and you're like mom quit being such a grid bag and she's gonna be like what? And you're like yeah yeah never mind I should probably clean my room. Anyways so basically a grid bag constraint is gonna help us organize things help us space it help us lay it out in a grid system which I'll show you guys in a second here. But first what we want to do is we want to add some spacing to each one of these elements, such as the spacing at the top, bottom, left, and right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to refer to our grid bag constraint that we just set up. We're going to say grid bag constraint, and we're just going to say dot insets. And we're going to set this equal to new insets. And now we're going to refer to our four parameters. For the top, we're going to say 15 pixels, bottom 15, and then 15 for the left and 15 for the right. So now we're going to have some spacing for each one of our elements, but when we save this and run it, we don't notice a change. It's like, all right, why did I just type those two lines of code? Thanks for wasting my time, Travis. And um, that's basically because we haven't referred to our grid back constraint anywhere. All we've done is we said, hey, we want to set up this constraint and we want to add some spacing or some insets. Uh, of 15 around each element basically. So what we need to do to actually utilize this grid bag constraint is when we add elements to our panel, again panel 3 here. Uh, right now all we're doing is adding a label and we're never having this label refer to you know the insets that we want or the spacing. So when we add this element to again our panel 3 we can do a comma and then also a grid bag constraint. So we're just going to refer to that and now we're going to have some spacing to this label element. It's going to take in the constraints that we have working with and we're just going to copy and paste this for each one of our elements that we add again to our third panel which is our center panel as you can see down here. Now when we save this and run it again just to save you time we aren't going to do anything or it's not going to do anything um, because again panel 3 he's just like you know guys I don't really care they just told me I need to come I need to show up and uh, they didn't say I had to organize anything. This is crazy. I'm, I'm thinking about quitting. Um, basically, when we set up our panel 3, when we scroll up to the top of our class here, our J panel P3, we just gave it a default constructor. But we can also give it some kind of an organization system that we're looking for. So we're like, hey, J panel, we're creating you, and you're probably going to be some kind of a grid system. Uh, you're going to work with grid back constraints and uh, you know that's what your future is um, that's what you have to look forward to for the rest of your life and right now jpanel3 doesn't want to look for grids it doesn't care but we can pass in some extra parameters or just one extra parameter when we create this jpanel that's exactly what we're going to do we're just going to say a new uh, grid bag layout and bam bam. Again we have to add our import here and uh, just to kind of cover everything uh, when we create a J panel uh, we want to say hey we want a certain kind of layout we want a grid layout um, and you know so create this grid bag layout within your parameters. Now this panel is going to have access to all the grid back constraints that we created down here again we just have a default constraint and then we added some spacing to that constraint and lastly when we add items or components to our panel 
We also tell it the grid back constraint that we want, and then it'll add the spacing to each one of those elements. Um, so we're just going to save this, run it, and hopefully get some, as you can see, spacing in between. And also, uh, it kind of centered it within our center panel here. So that's pretty cool, right? Now what we want to do is we want to have these be on top of each other and maybe even different places in the screen, something like that. So that's what we're going to get to right now. Uh, we're going to go back down to our grid bag constraint that we set up and we're going to give us some space here. Now what we can do is we can refer to the X position and the Y position of our grid system that we just set up. So we're going to say grid back constraint and we're going to say uh, grid X and this is going to set the grid or the X position and we're going to set this equal to be zero to start with and grid back constraint uh, dot grid Y I'm going to set this equal to be uh, zero as well and now what we're going to do uh, and now what's happening is it's you know having the position zero zero and that's where it's going to add this label because again we're referring to the grid back constraint that we have set up and uh, it's going to give it spacing and now the actual position zero zero but that's going to apply to each one of these so what we need to do is we need to change the grid position for our next element that we add. So I'm just going to copy and paste these two lines of code, the grid X and grid Y, paste them down there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to still want it to be on in the same column pretty much. So our X value is going to be the same, but our Y value is going to be one now. And now it's going to be right above. Uh, and then we're just going to paste this again for our text field. And we're going to say like two. And maybe just to show you guys, for example, we're going to change our x value to 1. Now when we save this and run it, let's see what we get. So uh, here we go. We have some spacing in between each element. So again, when we add our label, this is position 0 in the x direction and 0 in the y direction. And again, computers, when they work with x and y directions, it'll start, or at least Java, it starts right here. Um, the x and y start at 0 and then it goes you know this is the plus y value and this is the plus x value so here's 0 0 here's 0 1 and this text field is position 1 2 so again you can mess around with that let's say we want to have the x on the same row as or I'm sorry let's say we want to have our text field on the same row as our label so that's going to be um, the y value of 0 and then let's say we want it kind of far away uh, we're gonna say like a value of 5 in the x direction now we're gonna save this and run it see what happens um, it's just right next to it again with the spacing because we don't have any other elements if we place this text area right here um, you know somewhere in there it'll, it'll kind of change it up so let's do that real quickly our text area we have it in the x grid uh, of 0 we want to change that to 2 something like that and also our y value to 0 here so now when we save this and run it again uh, they're horizontally um, if we had more columns for our y position if we had more you know columns or more x values uh, we would have this text field move over more if we place like x what, 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 3 or x is equal to 4 um, then these would all line up accordingly to their order but that's a quick introduction to the grid layout or the grid bag layout and uh, so hopefully that made some sense uh, I know it's kind of a lot of code but pretty simple concept hopefully uh, and you know the only problem is kind of remembering grid bag constraint and grid bag layout and uh, you know all that stuff but hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed that tutorial and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks again for subscribing. Catch you later. Peace.